I pray thee, good Mercutio, let's retire. Day is hot, tabulates brawn. We meet, we should not escape a brawl. For these hot days and mad blood stirring. Thou art like one of those fellows that when he enters the confines of a tavern, claps me his sword upon the table, and says, God send me no need of thee. By the operation of the second cup, draws his sword on the drawer, when indeed there is no need. Am I such a fellow? Come, come, thou art as hot as a jack in thy mood as any in Italy, and is soon moody to be moved, and is soon moved to be moody. And what to? Nay, and there were two such, and soon there should be none, for one would kill the other. Thou wilt quarrel with a man, who has to hair more or hair less in his beard than thou hast. Wilt thou quarrel with a man for cracking nuts, for no other reason than because thou hast hazel eyes? What eye but such an eye would spy out such a quarrel? Why were so apt to quarrel as thou art, that any man may buy the fee simple of my life for an hour and a quarter? The fee simple? Oh, simple! By my head, here comes the Capulets. By my heel, I care not. Gentlemen, good dead. A word with one of these. But one word with us. Couple it with something, make it a word and a blow. And you shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me occasion. Can you not take some occasion without giving? Mercutio, thou consort us with Romeo. Consort what dost thou make us minstrels? And thou make minstrels of us look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick, here's that shall make you dance. Zounds! Consort. We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw to some private place and coldly settle your grievances, or here depart. Here all men's eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look. So let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. Peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. But I'll be hanged, sir, if you wear your livery. But if you go before the field and ye be your follower, that sense your worship, you may call him man. Romeo, the hate that I bear for thee can afford no better terms than this. Thou art a villain. <clears throat> the reason that I love thee, the reason why I love thee, just Excuse the appertaining rage of thy greeting. A villain am I not. Therefore, I see thou knowest me not. Boy, is not excuse the injuries that thou hast done to me. Injured thee? I do protest I never injured thee. But I love thee better than thou canest divide. And so, good Capulet, the name is I dearly as my own. Be satisfied. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission! Dibble, you rat catcher, will you walk? What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. And use me war after you dry beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword out of its pitcher by the ears? Make haste, lest mine be about your ears, ere it be first. I am for you. Come, sir, your posado. Dibble, Mercutio. Stop this outrage. The prince hath expressly stated no bannering in the Verona streets. I am hurt! A plague! Oh, both your houses! Is he gone and hath nothing? What? Art thou hurt? Aye, aye, a scratch, a scratch. But tis enough. <clears throat> Courage, for... man. The hurt cannot be much. Tis not so deep as a well, nor so wide as a church door. But tis enough. As for me tomorrow, you shall find me a grave man. Romeo, why the devil did you come between us? I was hurt under your arm. I thought it for the best. Help me, Benvolio, into some house before I faint. I am hurt. A plague of both your houses. And make worms meet of me. This gentleman. My prince, near ally, my very friend, hath got his mortally hurt. <clears throat> my, in my behalf, my reputation has been stained by Tybalt's slander. Oh, sweet Juliet, thy beauty hath made me effeminate. 
that my temper has softened Valor's steel. Oh, Romeo! Romeo! Bring Mercutio is dead! His gallant spirit has spied in the clouds, which here did too untimely scorn the earth. This day's black fate does depend on other days. This begins the woe. This others must end. Here comes the fears to go back again. Alive and triumph, Marcusio is slain. Away to heaven, respective lenity. Fire eye fury, now be my conduct. This now, take the villain back, late thou gavest me. Hey, Marcusio's soul. Now is but a little above our heads. Either thou or I or both must go with him. That wretched boy that did his consort him here, you shall with him hence. This shall determine that. I am fortune's fool! Why dost thou stay? Okay. <laughs>